All right, so. Forgive me, Calm. Forgive me. So we took the pills and now. Keep them away from me. Forgive me, Calm. Where is he? What's this here? Piglet. I'm scared. Pig Calm. I'm Pig sorry. Piglet punks. And now this is here open. Don't let him take Whoa. me. Oh man, she has those cuts from suicidal oh, attempts. More of them. Ouch. All right, and now we're just back here. The whack jack? There wasn't something for us to use here, right? Newspaper just away. Come back! The park Don't is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I've always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. <laughs> Lol. It's almost looked as if something is standing inside that house in the darkness. This guy, I think. Well, I will see you in a week. Yeah. As a child, I was I was very afraid of the dark. I can remember. I guess this is normal for almost every child. Hearing those stories, what could happen? People like to make fun of how easy it is to scare you. What is this here? This is a, also an attraction or what? Why is it just? No, it's not the entrance area. Callum, Callum! What are you scared of? I'm not really sure if I'm. What I'm scared of. But at a very young age I had to learn. I can help you, Callum. Had to learn all the breadcrumbs. To stop fearing the dark. Because at the age of five or six or so when I stayed at my grandmother's place and she has her own parcel of land with a little house, two floors, and from the entrance you have to walk about two minutes. As the house was located on a small hill on that parcel of land. And when it's dark, you only had a street lamp at the entrance. And no other lamp until the entrance of this little house. And as a child, when I was standing at the entrance, for me it almost looked like something from Castlevania or so. A castle in Romania. <laughs> when it was dark and you can only see... It's the entrance. So many trees and whatever. Calum, where are you? Ah, this is, away from me. is this the House of Horrors? Because the reviewer said when we come to the House of Horrors. Where they already? Yeah, yeah, this is the entrance. We just came back here. Yeah, but this time we have to go inside of this House of Horrors. Yeah. And in the review, it so was it was stated messed. that this is the point in the game where it gets really good. This isn't a game, Callum. This time I'm. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Man, I have no visual. Um, Look like the house of the witch. I'm just going inside now, right? <laughs> this is the point where we use our flashlight. Okay, they gave us no hint that we should enter this house, but. Uh, I guess they just put us back to the entrance of the park. Oh. 
Another attraction, read page. Come, let it me clearly, oh no. Done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. Um, a jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small-minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machine, machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have re retreated here to the House of Horrors? I must think. Yeah, don't tell me this is a note from uh, her husband. Was it, was it was it a child or a son? In, the, in that note. Boy, I really like this here with the flashlight. Yeah, and when the, the thing is... I had to get the coals in the cellar. Just with a bucket. Yeah, a bucket full of coals. And the light down there wasn't really a light. Even one of those light bulbs was uh, kind of just going... Was on and out and on and out. This was really creepy for me. But still, my job was to get a colds for my friend. Oh! Whoa! What's this? Uh, he looks very much like a character from the Secret World. The one thing I found fascinating because this this uh, amusement park is kind of placed in the is a location in the Secret World. Yeah, that's the only connection you have. You don't really know need to know the online RPG to enjoy the story because there isn't really a. Yeah, it's the same location. King's Mouth is a nearby village. Some people were disappointed, I've read, that when you are riding the giant, the great wheel, that you couldn't see the houses in the nearby village. That's okay. There's a werewolf this time. And a note. No, not. There's nothing for us. Show yourself? Get away! Don't touch me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Two arms, mommy. What was behind that ship, monk? There was something. I'm a horrible mother. Yeah. Where is he? Mommy, behind you. Lol, is this the part? Where they are gonna refer to P.T. Silent Hills, look behind you or what? Where is my boy? This one jumps... Don't touch me! P.T. Silent Hills doesn't have much jump scares, but that one really got me, because it's such such well done. That was horrible. Don't leave me! The House of Horrors. Oh. Shut yeah. off this. It's only the reflection or what? Where's that creepy guy? <laughs> Underneath <laughs> this Where the fuck is this creepy guy? I could go down there. Where is the only path we can take? What? Where? Where's the fucking door here? <laughs> if you're really into it, you can get jump scared by your own shadow, right? <laughs> this is really... You see someone just walking towards you, but it's actually only your reflection. It's only your reflection in the mirror. Now I can hear someone moving. This is where we came from? No, it's not. Leave me alone. Oh man, I sometimes forget. Given to me. Hmm. Read page. page. Incidents, and I cannot dismiss them as random chances. The park works, but something is interfering with its intended function. It's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power 
even as I collected. A few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue, either kind, investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. It kind of feels... Who was that? When it... <sighs> what? Huh? When it kind of feels that I missed maybe a note, I... Maybe I had to take a walk back? Oh, well, guys, I'm just back here where we've read the page. I just went all the way back and looked around, but we have not missed one thing. Of course, there's still another way which leads kind of down. But for now... Don't leave me! I wasn't looking at you. Stop! Something. Stop it. Show yourself. Oh man. No, it just makes me wonder if we should go back and... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. This definitely looks like we are supposed to go here. Okay, let's turn around again. Okay guys, so this is here, yeah, the intersection. This... Leave me alone! Just want to check out if there's something here. Who was that? Nothing. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. Then we just leave. Yep, going alone in the cellar and catching. That was my job and I kind of, I'm not sure why such a long time ago why I decided that as a young child that I want to do this and not tell them tell my grandmother or my father no I am too scared to do this well, I, I just imagined myself that the darkness is something like a blanket which can hide me and from that point I kinda stopped fearing the darkness and being alone Please. Make me see. Oh, this again is. Show yourself. Okay. What have you done with him? What have you done with him? Oh. What have you done with him? Just downstairs. Lol. Don't make me look at it. Man, this is really a creepy place. Doesn't work. Okay. One of those. All right. Only one way to go. Our flashlight has run off or what? Nightmare circus. A circus burns to the ground on oh man, how can I turn I can't really turn it now. A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The the owner is put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, a dark souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Nightmare Circus. Stop! Is this actually a real book? Or what? After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light. There were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. 
She's in the woods now? What's he said about about Don? I thought he died before he was born. Hunger. Hey, this is again something about hunger. What does he say about when you are truly desperate? How can I turn this around? On April 16, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500-mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sup. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world had ever seen. Now, our panel of Donner experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. In this never before seen expose read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages of this shocking true story. Disconnect notice Dunware, Dunwich Power Company. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed on your last bill. Contact us on 555 and we can arrange a payment plan to do that so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe that this is an error, Call us on triple five seven eight six nine to discuss your options. If you are unable to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich Power Company. It's a kind of like cruel note now. A cruel uh, without electricity in the cold winter. The wit, the wilting. Man, how? What then? With this new novel, Susan S. Comp comments her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of a generation. The wilting, a solar flare has struck the Earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. And an exotic dancer named Chains O'Hara is the key to saving the world. Again. Dynamic, exciting, bombastic, everything we come to expect from an Ants Comp novel. Chains O'Hara is back and you better believe that she is bigger, better and bolder than Don't ever. Leave me. Bolder than ever. I love you from Callum? Leave me alone! See those drawings? Yeah. What is this? Eh? Just the cave. Please, make me see. Don't make me see what? Who was that? Is this a? It's their own home, I think. Where is my boy? What the fuck? If this is her home, then we aren't really in that park. Oh, they live there. I'm a father and mother. Where is he? Okay. Broken. And the French to fix that. But didn't work. Show yourself! Man, there's a really a lot of stuff to take a look at. Shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum. E electricity bill, fix, force. Electricity bill? Don't leave me! So they are the ones that threat of... So, uh... A winter without any uh, electricity or what? Can I close this again? Yeah. So what about this door? Doesn't work. Show yourself. I have to go very near to the stuff in order to examine it. 
but we can try out opening each one of those doors. What's this here? The living room? Miss Maliat, I guess that is where we... Dunwich Emergency Services. As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considerate sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you are suffering a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health, Dr. Spencer Dunwich Medical. Oh man. So, she got released and she should dispose all of those. Loran, that is her name, right? I received your letter and I am quite surprised. This is Karen, a, a friend of her. Okay, I received your letter and I am quite surprised you ran off with your father all of those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map and then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help? I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man and I regret the years that I've wasted with him. Since her mother. Her mother. I loved you. I truly did. But every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl. Never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Loren, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not ready to forgive you. Please co don't contact me again. She ran off with her father? She said her mother. My horrible mother. Where is he? Ran off. Alone. Leave me alone. Dunwich Emergency Services. Patient name Maliet Loran Kimberly. That is her. The ma yeah. Date of committal 1977. Date of discharge. Almost a month later, 1977 in November. Okay. Overseeing Fichugold. Psychologist Loren seems to be suffering from de depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner Don, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. So, d six months ago means that it's just a moment um, he died three months in the pregnancy, so just when Callum was was uh, was born date of discharge and then she she got Callum right in this month so Af Callum is wait older than me <laughs> after being kept under careful observation we provided standard treatment for this for this disorder including electroconvulsion therapy the patient responded and made a rapid recovery they looted. They used electroconvulsion therapy. That's just bullshit. We saw this. That's why this is placed in the past. Mm. Aftercare recommendations: weekly follow up with a local physician. Mood stabilizers, lithium based. Discharge instructions: Loren has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth. When Loren displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her and as long as she follows her recommend, recommend aftercare routine and continues with her medication, we have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing and her employee. Susie has said that she is welcome to return her to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for, Cal for Callum while Lorraine works, it is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. Medication instructions. A prescription for Zolift that can be filled at Flex Pharmacy in Kingsmouth. 
She has been advised to start with the 50 mg dose and then, based on the advice of a doctor, to increase the medication as needed. Okay. She was discharged and she got her son returned. Oh man, uh, was this from Beckshire Medicine and Stapleton, Boston? Miss Malyard, our inquiry into the estate of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary benef beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased parents? Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation especially as regards the birth of Donald, Donald's son, Gallum. Okay, so her husband's parents got, got the money from the life insurance. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact from regarding that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation and I hope that I am not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. <laughs> oh God. She got no money. she doesn't have any money but then she got another bill. Since we Edward Stapleton attorney and whatever and they got the bill threatening her to cut off the ele electricity in the harsh winter here in Kingsmouth or whatever. Given to me! Yeah, nice. Now we can slowly understand in what kind of situation she was discharged after receiving electroconvulsion therapy. Just reverse yeah. really on PT. A therapy which is definitely not good. Sign This is the voice, and maybe one piece of dialogue from Silent Hills, yeah. Oh, we, we, sh we should be quiet, and maybe we can catch more of those. This is just yeah, the Santa, same, right? You know? <laughs> PT. We're in the same house. No, now. this is. No, this is just. No, not a text. Really? Why can't I read now this, and now I have. Come on. I can only turn, now I have to turn around, this is a little bit weird when it's on the back. The park, it was a wait, wait, waiting on a child for take, take, taken, using joy for bait, bait, baiting, while their mother's mind is breaking. Anna GLC win. Yep. Now a rhyme for her, for the mother's state of mind. And the, the pills. Take two tablets by mouth in the morning, then a tablet uh, whenever you have an episode do soul lift. Okay, nothing special <laughs> to read, but you uh, don't leave me. Lorraine. Things aren't right between, between us at the moment, I know. I want to try and explain it. I think it is because I am so far from home and I'm working so hard. Every day working at the park, it gets worse like a spring inside my mind. Winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for a drink after work, it gets a little better. The guys relax the guys relax and we laugh and we're we're good people again I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind eh? your husband is also not right in his mind <laughs> but when this job is done we need to get out of this place we need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore I love you Donald Yes, I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy. 
and Emma it is for a girl if it is a girl what is this now don't make me look at it don't make don't leave me another hung another copy of this book hunger um no this is not a text no in the spring of 1933 in the Soviet Ukraine an entire population found itself without food over the course of the coming months the situation grew critical and reports of mass malnutrition began to filter into the upper echelons of government the people had been left with very little to bite or sup it was to become one of the greatest tragedies of mass starvation that the world have ever seen now our panel of soviet experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive the terrible winter in this never seen exposed read about the starving parents cooked and ate their own children in order to survive what the fuck Oh, first it was. Tell me she will eat her son. I'm a horrible first man. it was. Her son. Where is he? First it was brothers and sisters, and now it's parents eating their old children, their own children in the Soviet master version. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? And now we're just in a room again. Ah, that's why they call it. It's, it's something like PDS because everything now kind of repeats. We are just in the same. Her? Uh, what's this? She? See? I guess I have to turn it around a little bit. Oh man. This could also make a jump scare here if, uh, while I'm turning this shit around. Man, the controls for turning this around is a little, a little bit weird, but okay. Lab? 